Good evening, everybody. This is the pilot episode of the Lord Fairfax Report. It is February 25th, 2023. And um, basically, this report is going to be going on, ongoing uh, about what the kind of highlight what the board is doing, uh, not the little updates they give you on the emails with their enthusiasm, but from a different perspective, a perspective of skepticism uh, and with a careful look at our liberties and our money. So <coughs> let's start this episode with, um, you know, some of the updates from these supervisors. Um, I don't know if any of you all get the updates. I would strongly su suggest that you get your uh, local supervisors' updates in the emails, whether you like them or not. It, they're they're giving you links to what kind of what they're doing. Um, I had an exchange with in emails with uh, Mr. Walkinshaw about the plastic bag tax tax. Um, you know, his, uh, Braddock Beacon, let's just say his Braddock Beacon email was kind of touting how much money the plastic bag tax raised, but at the same time, two-faced saying that it's not about the money, it's about the environment. Well, that's not what it sounded like in the email, in the, uh, Braddock Beacon that he sent. So, in my opinion, the bag tax has, has, has nothing to do with the environment. <coughs> Bags go into the trash and into the landfill. Okay? Um, not, you know, I, of course, encourage recycling as much as you can. Absolutely. But um, the problem with this is I have no, uh, to go to a grocery store, you know, now you bring your own bag. Um, and if you forgot, either you're, you're, if you're like me, you're carrying every single item out to the car or in the cart. Um, but convenience is the minor thing. It's, it's more about the money. Uh, I will not pay the five cent tax. I will either bring my own bag that I already have, or I will just carry things out individually in the cart. If this were just something that the grocery store were implementing, I would have no problem with it. I would gladly buy their bags uh, if it's up to them. But I will not give another cent to this county. <coughs> so that was obviously implemented um, last year, and it was a big adjustment for everybody. Um, it's been imp implemented in other areas. Well, obviously in the District of Columbia, where you see... Whatever goes on there, sometimes you'll see roll over to here, and that's not a good thing. Now, <coughs> um, another thing in their email, uh, for example, Kathy Smith, was the um, pilot program for the cameras. Now, you know, this to me sounds like we're going the way of these other areas like Maryland, D.C., um, I thought red light cameras were bad enough because now it becomes an issue of, okay, who's driving it? And you have to prove that. And um, now it's like you drive through even rural Maryland and you get speed cameras. Um, it's just another big, it's another step for Big Brother. So here we go. They're saying it's a pilot program, but it will definitely be enforced as they say, there is nothing temporary about a government program. So looking onward, <coughs> we have the uh, talk about the real estate tax of $1.11 per $100 of assessed value. Now, even though they, they will tout that they've either lowered or kept it at the same rate, uh, it, as you notice, your real estate does not go down because of either values or, well, in this case, values 
or because of the rate. So um, they can brag about that all they want. There should be no real estate tax, in my opinion, and there should be no personal property tax, you know, for your vehicles. Uh, as you saw, those rate or uh, those bills last fall were pretty high. Even my older vehicle with has many miles on it. I uh, had to um, put in a dispute, which they gave me a laughable amount back. So let me ask you, what about when my value goes down? Do I see that go down? Not necessarily. So um, another thing I want to point out here is the superintendent's proposed budget. Um, in this budget, there is, is, it does not account for the $12.7 million funding error by the state. Um, I'll have to look into that. That should uh, be in uh, future episodes. <coughs> um, they kind of acknowledge inflation, but don't want to scare people. But, uh, you know, interest rates are going up. Therefore, you're probably going to see this housing market drop, as you, uh, you may already see that. So, um, you know, they're bragging about the labor market in this county, um, you know, gaining 4.5 million jobs last year. And un unemployment, you know, fell to 50 to three-year low, uh, you know, to 3.4% as of January 2023. Well, how many of those uh, jobs were government jobs or defense, contract defense contractor jobs, data centers, whatnot? Um, I don't call that a strong economy. That's a fake economy. That is um, taking people out of the private market who actually produce goods and services and putting them in government jobs that just take our money. Okay, moving onward, we have um, another interesting thing. Um, office vacancy rates in the county went up increased to 21.3 million square feet um, and in the meantime the interesting fact of this is that uh, currently 0.9 million square feet of office space is still under construction so what does this mean that that could be a clue to something as well I know a lot of people uh, are, are ever since 2020 have been working from home and keeping it that way um, you know and they're saving office space on the with these companies so not a bad idea for their for their own budgets um, <coughs> but yeah so there's that going on and then we have um, well the Allocation of resources. Okay, so here's the county uh, net county resources are projected to increase for the 2024 budget by 365, roughly 365 million. Um, 134 million of that is going to county priorities. 144 of, of that is going to schools. 90 million of that is for the board balance for board consideration. So, let's focus on the um, Fairfax County Public Schools. Okay, so 144 million towards a school operating transfer request included in the superintendent's proposed budget. I'm reading this verbatim from the fiscal year 2024 advertised budget. The superintendent's budget requested an increase of 159.6 million, okay, which includes 84 million in increased sales tax and state aid. Uh, and these revenues did not account for the 12.7 million state error. Here's that state error again, which was not identified until after the release of the proposed budgets. <coughs> Three percent market scale adjustment for all employees and step increases for eligible employees. Um, and then there's a 1% retention bonus. 
So, you know, everybody wants their money. Um, so that's, um, you know, that's out there on the site. It's in PDF form. If you ever want to look at it, I will have uh, references in, in the show notes. Uh, but a few things I want to just touch on it in the end here. Um, you know, other than all this construction everywhere, which is which is an ongoing thing, um, whether some of us realize it or not, maybe some people ask for it, maybe some people don't. Um, perhaps there's too many federal buildings, too many government facilities in this area, driving up, you know, traffic and population. But anyway, you know, the things that I've just discussed. Um, in, according to the board, there will be a Sully, well, especially a Sully district budget town hall. That's for my district. Thursday, March 2nd, uh, 6 p.m. is when it will start. Um, <coughs> it will be live streamed. So you can either watch it on their government channel 16 or... Um, it doesn't. I'm not sure if it's a live event where you actually go to it. It's not. That's not very really clear. So, anyway, make your voice be heard, um, whether you like some of these things or maybe not. Um, but that's that's all for this show today. I'm trying to get my uh, sound quality and format um, ironed out here. So I hope that you enjoy this channel and uh, as I. I can't stand hearing, but I gotta say it. Like and subscribe the channel. If this was in any way helpful in getting your attention of what's going on locally. Uh, because that is the problem. People pay a lot of attention to the federal level <coughs> when you need to pay attention to the state and local county level or town level. So it's very important. Um, so just signing off, uh, thanks for listening.